Next Wave DB's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Hey, this is Sean with Next Wave DB. We're here at the Adobe booth, and I'm here with Bill, and we're going to be talking about uh, the well, new features you have with 5.5, CS 5.5 coming out. So can you go ahead and highlight some of those features for us? Love to. Um, so we're delighted to be here a year after we introduced the landmark 5.0 release. And we've done a lot of stuff which builds on that. So last year we introduced the Mercury playback engine, full 64-bit, you know, utilized Grand Central on Macintosh, totally 64-bit uh, native on the, uh, the PC. But we've also enhanced the number of GPUs that that Mercury playback engine supports. So now, for the first time, if you're on a laptop, you can take advantage of the GPUs as well. So a lot of performance, which is hugely important, particularly when you're dealing with all the native files. So one thing that you know, Premiere does, which is work natively with the files. No need for intermediate codecs, so you can work right away. And we've expanded that. We're actually, if you're uh, using the new Red Epic, we can use that right away too. So we've got all the right tools for all the different formats, all the way from you know, uh, DSLR through to uh, you know, even Red. So on the feature side, um, if you're using a DSLR camera, you probably know that there's a, a lot of unwanted motion you get, particularly if you're walking around using these things. So if you're an After Effects user, you're going to see the fabulous new Warp Stabilizer. So everybody's got a lot of stabilizers, you know, which deal with the X and Y axis, and you can crop it down. This actually looks over time, so it's really brilliant in the way that it can separate wanted motion from unwanted motion. So it's, uh, you drop it on, neat thing about it, works in the background. Uh, if you're a Premiere user, you can get to it through via dynamic link. Um, sticking with DSLR, if you're working in Premiere, we've actually added a lot of tools for dual system sound, because we know the microphones on the cameras really aren't uh, very well suited to capturing uh, usable sound. Uh, on the sound front, um, Audition. So it's our, we've focused all of our audio energy on one product now, Audition available on the PC as it was, but now on the Macintosh. And that's capping off a fabulous public beta, 36,000 downloads, written up in Wired Magazine, and it's super snappy, amazing product. So if you're a video user and you just want to take that extra step and start moving into some advanced audio editing, sweetening, cleanup, fabulous tool for that. Um, thinking across the entire pipeline, you know, delivering content now, nobody's delivering just one format. So we've, uh, we've got Adobe Media Encoder, Fabulous tool, we've revamped the whole UI, very clean, input files, what you're working on now, outputs. We've made it so with one drop fo uh, watch folder, you can actually have all the different outputs you'd need, and we've made the output profiles really simple to work with. So instead of having to pick H.264, resolution, bit rate, all that, you can just pick iPad, iPhone, web, you know, so it's very easy. We can also get under the hood and tweak all that if you want to. Um, other things we've done, uh, changes to the business model. So if you uh, want to get the software now, just for a short period of time, we've got subscription. And subscription's available for the suites and also the point products. So this is great if you have to get into a, a job where maybe you're working with some other people and they're on the latest version, you're not. You can get into it for just a single month if you have to. So really addressing the cyclicality of you know, how post works, you know, getting into the tools, totally different uh, idea. So that's, uh, that's a good one there. Yeah, it's pretty cool, and I'm excited about the uh, the warp uh, stabilize for uh, stabilizing footage because I know you got the Jello cam effect kind of going with the HDSLRs, yep. even some other cameras, you know, with the slower sensor. So, so that's what's primarily geared towards then, right? Is that Jello cam effect, right? Yeah, yeah. So that it, you know, and one of the things we found is that you know, when you stabilize with some of the new cameras that actually have rolling shutter, you know, and you stabilize the shot, the rolling shutter artifacts can actually make the footage look worse. So we've actually baked in all the things to stabilize all of that out. So when you put the stuff in, you just drop this thing on, and no matter what needs to be done, it gets done. And that's the real advantage of having something that not only looks across the X and Y axis, but across time. So it looks at forward frames, backward frames. Other neat things that it does is if you have to you know, crop in. If you saw the um, um, Content Aware Fill in Photoshop in the past, similar technology, but what it'll do is heal the frame so you don't have to crop in as much. So it'll look at previous frames, next frames, and meld all that in. A lot of other neat stuff in After Effects, too. So um, Yeah, like I think you have a new uh, blur, camera blur uh, it, thing, right? Exactly. So if you, you know, one of the things that people want to do now is match the real world lens effects. So you know, if you're working with DSLR, one of the great things, you've got all these different lenses. So now you can actually do all your work. You can keep everything fully in focus and apply camera accurate lens blur inside the, uh, inside the composition. 
Um, other things we're doing in that space as well is, you know, the, uh, the After Effects lights used to defy the laws of physics and shine light forever. So um, now you can actually apply uh, either real world light fall off or a, a customizable light fall off. So that's really nice if you're working with a 3D comp, being able to move the light and have the nice uh, light fall off. All right, we're still at the Adobe booth, but we ran into David here, and he's going to talk to us a little bit of how Thunderbolt uh, made, really makes things screaming on 5.5. Absolutely. So what we're showing here at the show, first of all, this is the only place you can actually experience Thunderbolt in all of NAB. You'll notice as you went around and saw some of this technology on the show floor, they were under a piece of glass, right? So here we wanted to invite people to jump in and play with it, as you see here. And what you see set up here is we've got Thunderbolt coming out of the laptop into the hard drive uh, RAID system from Promise, into the Blackmagic, out of Blackmagic, into the ICANN SDI. So a full workflow. And what you're going to notice is customers will come up They'll scrub the timeline and see exactly what they would experience. And what's really funny is you, you soon forget you're on a laptop. So that's what Thunderbolt's all about in this particular demo. The files that I'm playing here are actually 158 megs per second. Unheard of, and we're just stacking them on until the hard drive decides it's had enough. And you can get four or five layers really easy. And if I jump over to After Effects, really freaking people out, I can, do exactly the same thing. Here's this file that's sent over from after from um, Adobe Premiere by Dynamic Link. I can play that in real time. This is an unrendered file. It's rendering on the fly. It's playing in real time in full quality. I can come over here, turn on some effects like this. I can still scrub, play the timeline, playing in real time. It's absolutely freaking people out. The last thing I'll share with you is when I go back to Premiere, Here's a 4K DPX. I'm playing in full quality here, and I'm able to scrub and play back uh, 4K files absolutely no problem. And all of this work is because of the hard work that we've done with Intel and 64-bit technology over the past two years. The technology of Thunderbolt was just plug and play. It just works. That's awesome. I'm really excited about that. Thank you, David. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.